What's going on guys, Low Tech back here with another video. Today we're going to be looking at Android 10 and installing it in with the official build. Now, I had just released a video on how to do it with the unofficial build and it just so happens as I was posting it, the official build just happened to release. So I wanted to get this out as soon as possible. The official build, uh, the teams work real hard to make sure that it's as stable as possible. Uh, they've tried to eliminate the bugs and they've optimized it so that it'll work well on the switch you won't get some of those errors and weird messages that the device has internal problems and just all around a safer option than the un the uh, unofficial version so i wanted to get this out as soon as possible so the steps are mostly similar to what you saw in my other video but there are a few key differences you're gonna have to download some files we're gonna build the sd card we're gonna do that all together and then in the install process itself we have to do it a little bit differently otherwise you will get a lot of crashes so I figured that out with trial and error so we're gonna take a look at this now and hopefully it goes nice and smooth for you it was for me once I figured out what I was doing wrong and it's a pretty straightforward process but just follow along and you should have no problem getting it installed on your switch so a couple of things that you're going to need, we'll go over real quick. You're going to obviously need an unpatched switch. If you don't know what that is, there's plenty of websites on Google. I'll link one in the description so that you can see with your serial number whether your switch is patched or not. Um, the original versions of the switch when it first released are unpatched. But yeah, you'll check your serial and you'll know for sure. Uh, you're also going to need a micro SD card, something at the minimum 32 gigabytes. I recommend anywhere from 64 to 128 just so you have room for games and whatever else it is you're going to want to put on there. You're going to need a way to uh, access RCM and boot to a payload. So you can do that either with the corded method or the method that I use is with the RCM loader and the jig that comes with it that will take me to my payload without having to do it on the PC. Either method works, it doesn't really matter. You just got to be able to boot into Hakate. Um, that's that's about it as far as uh, physical materials required. Um, you're going to need the downloads that we're going to do now. The links will be in the description for each one of these pages. So let's get into it and start with our first download. And you're going to go to the switchroot.org website. You're going to click download switchroot. You're going to go to Android 10. And then there's going to be two options. One is the TV option. And that is one that if you plan on docking your Switch most of the time and it's just laid out a little more optimized for the bigger screen and more options as far as that goes. If you want to keep it mostly in tablet mode, then you're going to want to go with this tablet option. For this video, we're going to go with the tablet option. So you're going to click that and it will immediately begin to download. I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to click it, but just click there. Then you're going to go to this next website, open gaps. And this is basically allowing you to install the Google Play Store. If you don't download this and run through the install process with it, you won't have the Google Play Store when you install the uh, Switch Fruit Android. So you're going to set it to ARM64. You're going to set it to Android 10. And you're going to go to Pico. You're going to click this download button and wait for it to finish downloading. Once it's done, you're going to go to the GitHub page for Hakate. You're going to get the latest release. This was just released at the time of this video 11 hours ago on February 6th. But it is the latest version and it is required for you to install the Switch Root build properly. Now you can get away with using an older version. The SD card behind the scenes will not be partitioned in from what I have been explained in a way so that you will be able to do over-the-air updates with Android 10. So you'll be able to install it with an older version of Hakate, but you won't have the ability to do over-the-air updates. I don't know the whole technical reason behind that, but that is the reason I was given. So with that being said, just make sure you're on this 5.5.4 because they specifically got this released in conjunction with the Switch Root build, the official Switch Root boot on Android 10 so that you would be able to have over-the-air updates. So just a quick rant on that. But yes, so you're going to go down, and you're going to want to download the zip file here. Once you're, that's download, downloaded. Oh, and now that I am remembering, 
back over on the switch route real quick, you're going to want to go to this Extras tab and Joy-Con Xbox. Now I'm assuming this is going to allow the Joy-Cons to maybe be seen as an Xbox controller for some of the native Android games. I'm not 100% sure, but either way we're going to grab that and we're going to install it once we're in the install process later on. So yeah, once you have those files, so you got Hikate, your Switch Root, the uh, Joy-Con fix, and then the uh, gaps. You have all four of these. So the first thing you want to do from here is make sure that your SD card is empty and formatted. Format it to FAT32. Uh, I have not experimented on other formats, but anything I've ever read and watched myself, everybody stresses FAT32 to limit how many issues you could potentially have. So format it to FAT32. Okay, you're going to extract the switch root file. Once that's done, you're going to have this inside the folder that's extracted. So you're going to take this and drag it to the root of your SD card. And one thing I wanted to mention, the uh, Lineage 17.1 file that says unofficial um, may be alarming to some. I did have access to an earlier revision of this build while as it was being worked on, and the full file was named pretty much the same thing, the, fo the unofficial foster. Let's uh, take a look at it. Let me drag this over. Uh, the only difference was that the, the, my, the, da my, the date on mine was in Janu early January. So this one's dated for the 5th of February, and it's also signed. Mine said unsigned. So this is the official switch root build, though. So once that's on your SD card, you're going to want to back out of there. You're going to want to extract the uh, Hikate download. And you're going to drag this into the root of your SD. If anything happens to ask to be overwritten, overwrite it. And yes, you do leave the Lineage OS zipped on the SD card. You're going to move the open gaps over and keep it zipped as well. Move the Joy-Con Xbox zip over. Once all that is over, your SD card is now ready to be plugged into your switch. So from here we can eject it and I will meet you on your switch. All right, once you get your switch fired up, boot a payload using your preferred method. I used the, the RCM loader and I held the volume key and pressed the power button and make sure and I also make sure your jig is inserted in your right Joy-Con rail and then you will boot into Hakate. Once you're here, you're going to want to set your date and once the date is set, you're going to want to push the done button. Then you're going to push OK. Then you're going to go to tools. Then you're going to go to partition SD card. Then it's going to show you your current partition layout. You're going to press OK. Then you're going to move the Android orange slider all the way to the right. Next step, and you press start, and then the partition manager will back up the files that we put on earlier. That is the small partition that's in green that is holding all the files that we had on the SD card on the computer when we first started.
Okay, once that's done, you're going to press the flash Android button, then you're going to press continue. And then it should successfully flash the kernel image. And then it'll ask you if you want to reboot in a TWRP, you're going to press continue. At this point, if you haven't already removed your jig and RCM loader, you can reattach your Joy-Con and then press continue. During this uh, process of booting into TWRP, there may be a little bit of a delay with a black screen, but you should relatively quickly boot into uh, TWRP. Once you're in TWRP, you want to swipe to allow modifications. Go to the install. You're going to push up a level. You're going to go to the external SD folder file, and then you're going to select the lineage OS, and then you're going to swipe to confirm flash. And this process will take a little bit, so be patient. I will be speeding up the video. Once that's done, you can ignore some of the red, unable to mount, and some of the uh, errors. Hit the back button, hit the back button again, click reboot, and then you're going to push reboot to bootloader there. And there is a little bit of a delay, it does hang a little bit here, but it is normal. So it should put you back in Hikate when you're there. You're going to hit the more configs button, and then you're going to press the uh, switch root Android 10. Um, you will see the Hikate logo again. And then you may have a black screen for a minute or longer. Be patient. Don't jump the gun and reboot. The first go through on the install does take a while. So don't panic if you have a black screen for a minute or so. After a minute or so, you should begin to see this uh, animated logo. Um, now this will also take a while. It's a handful of minutes that it will just be doing this again. Don't think it's uh, hung up or frozen just in this boot logo. It does take a while, three, four, give it up to five, maybe even ten minutes. It's never taken me longer than like four or five, but just expect it to be a while. All right, welcome to Lineage OS. Now we just got to get set up. You're going to hit next. Get your language set up. Date and time set up. Set your time zone. And you can add your Wi-Fi network. I'm skipping through all of this just because this is for the demonstration purposes. Uh, your location services options, improving Lineage OS, your pin, restore from backup, and eventually you get to start. It will load up to the main screen. And once we're here, we're in Android, but we're not done. So we're going to go into settings. And we're going to go down to about tablet, down to build number, repeatedly tap it until it says you have enabled development settings. From there, you're going to go to system, hit advanced. Then you're going to look for developer options, hit that. Then you're going to want to enable the slider for advanced restart. Once that is done, we can back out and hit the power button, restart, and then tap bootloader. Once we're back at Hikate, you're going to hit more configs, and here you're going to hold down the volume up button, hold it down, and then you're going to push the switch through Android 10. Keep holding down the volume up button. You're going to see the Hikate logo, keep holding it. And you're going to keep holding it until you see the TWRP logo. 
All right, now that you see that, you can release the volume up button and wait until it starts up. Once it starts up, you're going to swipe to allow modifications. Go back over to install. Again, you're going to press up a level. Then you're going to press the external SD card. And then you're going to press the open GA apps. And then swipe to confirm flash. This won't take as long as the uh, install of Lineage OS, but it will take a little bit. So I will speed the video up. Once that's done, you're going to hit the back button, you're going to press the uh, Joy-Con Xbox zip, and swipe to flash. And this will be very quick, and then we can go back, back again, reboot, and reboot to the bootloader. There will be a lag again, give it a few seconds, and then it will take you back to Hakate. Once you're back into Hakate, you're going to hit more configs and switch root Android 10 and then it's going to go through the boot process again this boot will be a little bit longer because we installed the, the Play Store regular boots won't be this long but just be patient and wait for the uh, Lineage OS to fully boot All right, you should get to the end of that. Lineage should boot into the main screen. Uh, the first thing you want to do is make sure that uh, our installation of the Play Store was indeed successful. So swipe up, and there it is. So it has installed. I'm going to move mine where I like it on the main screen, but we see that we have it. Uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much a wrap as far as installing Android 10. This is the official build so the official how to do how to do it guide for switch root um, yeah one other thing I do know is that if the joy cons are on in charge you should be able to navigate the Android operating system and I'm showing you that there left joy con the buttons do enter and exit the apps as you can see I'm going into the gallery and then I'm going to back out of the gallery so at least some of these buttons are working. I'm going to do more testing and show some native Android gaming and emulation on this build as well. So stay tuned for that video. I want to thank everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it was informative. Uh, please, if you enjoy my videos, subscribe. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. I want to thank you once again for watching. And everybody, have a good day.